former world challenger, he played a6 to close down counter chances of white. But in this game, Grandmaster Nepomiachi played b4, which is an irresponsible move, as Grandmaster Capuana commented. So queen takes c4 was played, rook a g8, transferring another rook into a good position and an active position. So after rook a g8, there is queen c6, which is a terrible move by white. So before rook a g8, there is a threat here that can play knight f3 and to create a fort towards the rook on e1 and the rook on g1 but after knight f3 there is queen c6 queen c6 creates a fort on the rook on a8 and the knight on f3 so maybe that is the reason why grandmaster nepomiachi did not play knight f3 and he moved quite fast moving rook a g8 no but may na miss dito sa position na ito si grandmaster nepomiachi so, dapat talaga kahit world elite challenger ka or pang world champion talaga ang laro mo, kailangan talaga nag-iisip ka. Kasi dito sa position na to, after knight f3, yes, there is queen c6. Pwede pala itong pasukin ng black because after queen c6, meron tayong knight takes e1. So, after knight takes e1, queen takes a8, intermediate move, which creates a check. So, black needs to protect his king first. Sa mga amateur na nag isa ano ba ang intermediate move? Intermediate move is a move that creates a forcing move and creates a check. So for example, you are supposedly to capture back on E1 but you captured something else which create a move. So minsan tawag natin dito is the in-between move. Alright? So rook G8 and then after rook G8 white will move back to E4 to create pressure on this H7 square. So mafo-force yung knight natin to capture on C2 and after queen takes c2, black continued with queen h4, creating an attack towards this pawn. White continue, can continue with queen d3 to protect the pawn on h3. And then now f5, which is the only move to create an, an advantage for black. Now, maybe in this position, after queen f3, and then f capture g4, rook capture g4, rook capture g4, queen capture g4, queen capture g4, and h capture g4. After the exchanges, Grandmaster Nepomiachi tried to assess this final position and he thinks that white has chances of drawing the game and maybe miss the analysis that black can actually win in this endgame because of a weakness that is created by a4, which is the b2 square. Alright, so black can continue with e3. So, kung hinabaan sana ni Grandmaster Nepo Miyachi ang pag-iisip niya dito sa position na to, makikita niya sana yung b3. Okay? Ano bang idea ng b3? The threat is bishop a3. So, ngayon, magmamadali ngayon tong knight para makadepensa. But after bishop a3, b takes a3. Now, we have b2 and white knight on f6 will not have enough time to move to c3 to protect the b1 square. Alright? So, balik na tayo dun sa main variation. Black continue with rook a g8. So after rook g8, white continued with queen c6 which is one of the mistakes of um, Grandmaster Ding Diren in this position. Instead of queen c6, white could actually capture the rook on g6. After h capture g6, na trap yung knight pero meron pang counter attack ang pute. Queen c6, g capture h5, queen d6 and after knight f F3, there is queen c5. So, mapupunta ito sa rook endgame at malaki ang chance na matatabla. So, balik po tayo dito sa blunder ng puti. He played queen c6. Now, dito sa position na to, ang ganda sana na ititira ni Grandmaster Nepomiachi para ma-maintain niya yung advantage. But, he played a fast move again with bishop b8. Instead of bishop b8, he could have played knight f5. Napakagandang tira. Kasi, first of all, he hindi pwedeng capture rin ng pute dahil this will create a pressure towards his king and even if the merong capture dito ang pute meron tayong queen capture h3 and it will lead to a checkmate ngayon for example white did not capture it with the pawn he captured it with the bishop meron naman tayong e takes f5 at mau open up itong 6 rank at mapoprotect natin yung bishop
sharp sa D6 and black still maintain the pressure towards this G file. Okay? So let's continue. Bishop B8, another mistake of Grandmaster Nepomiachi. And now, in this position, Grandmaster Ding Diren could have played Bishop takes G6. Another good move na hindi niya na itira. Siguro dala na rin ng pressure at talagang uh, very intense game. Napatira ng Queen D7 si Grandmaster Ding Diren dito sa position na to. Ngayon, ano bang meron sa Bishop takes G6? A while ago, kanina pa natin ito dinidiscuss na itong Bishop takes G6, uh, there is something wrong with it kasi nga mape-pressure yung knight natin sa H5. Pero at this moment, Bishop capture G6 is actually the best move for white. Dahil after H capture G6, matatrap nga dito yung knight ng puti. Pero dito, meron ng D5. Excellent move by white. So after D5, let's say E takes D5, meron na tayong knight of 6. So magkakaroon ng square dito yung knight. Let's say queen capture naman. Meron ding queen takes D5, E takes D5, and then knight F6. May threat dito, may threat sa D5, tapos meron pang rook E8, forcing the exchange for the rooks. Okay? Ngayon, siguro nagtatanong kayo, what if capture na lang coach yung h5 hindi na rin mag-work out ang g takes h5 dahil merong d takes e6 ngayon, dito sa position na to this is an imbalance position so, sa mga amateur na nanonood ano ba ang imbalance position? ang imbalance position is where there are imbalances with the material for example, meron kang dalawang torre, ang kalaban mo merong queen, paano mo malalaman kung okay bang pumasok sa imbalance position? kailangan mo muna na syempre, i-assess yung tatlong factors dyan. Una, yung pawn structure. Pangalawa, king safety. At pangatlo, pinaka-importante, peace activity. Pag lahat yan, okay ang position mo. Pwede kang pumasok sa 2 rooks versus queen, or kahit ikaw yung queen versus 2 rooks, depende lagi sa pag a ng final position. So ngayon dito sa position na to, kung makikita nyo, okay ang safety ng pute, pero ang king ng item, hindi talaga maayos. At ang peace activity naman ng item, sabog-sabog. Hindi tulad ng peace activity ng white, yung 2 rooks nakatutok ng maigi dito sa 2 files at meron pa tayong pass pawn. Pag kinapture naman niya ito, mawawalan siya ng defender sa f7 at mawo-open up na ng tuluyan yung black king. And this is good for white. Pero, hindi ito pinasok ni Grandmaster Ding Liren. So, Grandmaster Ding Liren played queen b7. Black played rook h6. Ito na yung pinaka-blunder dito sa position na to ni Grandmaster Nepomiachi. Meron pa sana siyang last chance para ma-maintain yung advantage. Ang tamang tira instead of rook h6, dapat ang itinira niya is knight F5 again. Hindi na naman ito pwedeng capture rin ng puti dahil if he captures, there is queen h5 at may threat na namang checkmate. Okay? So, after knight f5, ano bang pwedeng gawin ng puti dito sa knight f5? Pwede siguro siyang mag bumalik ng queen. Um, queen f3. Pero hindi rin ito kasi mag-work out. Dahil after queen f3, meron na rin knight takes d4 at may exchange na rin yung bishop sa c2. So, knight f5 again is the best move for black. After playing rook a h6, ito na. Tumama na ang tira ni Grandmaster Ding Liren na equal niya yung position by playing Bishop e4. After Bishop e4, dito na tuloy-tuloy ang bumalik lahat yung pesa ni Grandmaster Nepomiachi at nawala na ng tuluyan yung kanyang atake. So, he played Rook f8 and then Queen takes b4. May threat na naman dito sa f8. Barsado na naman bumalik yung Queen. Depends sa kanyang Rook sa f8. And then after that, Queen c3. There's another pressure on the dark square. Kung makikita nyo, yung dark square bishop, walang ginagawa and then after knight g6, balik na naman ng isang pyesa, bishop g2 queen h4 is trying to create something out of nothing but hindi na ito uh, e-effect dahil rook e2, sinimplahan na lang ni grandmaster ding liren, nakuha na ni grandmaster ding liren ang kanyang advantage dito and then f5, so ito na yung blunder ni grandmaster nepomiachi, so instead of f5, actually slightly advantage lang naman ng puti pwede naman siyang makapsurvive pa if he played just bishop d6 just to improve the position of this bishop, right? But anyway, um, because of probably Grandmaster Nebomiyaji is tired, okay? So he played f5 at talagang nangihinayan siya dumun sa nawalang advantage na 
meron siya. After F5, meron ng root takes E6. Okay. So, ngayon, itong mistake na to sa F5 is marami talaga ang nagtaka dito. At kung makikita nyo yung uh, reaction ng mga commentators about uh, about this blunder on F5, eh, napaka big deal talaga. Like the most obvious move. I'm actually thinking about kind of crazy A5 here. Um, just because I checkmated if your bishop were to eight that would be silly because you get checkmated one okay so f3 if a queen takes f3 you're trying to take on g4 and expose and attack queen over six. Queen over. has an easy reputation e5 bishop to e5 rook takes e5 f takes g2 and i think just king maybe king g2 also wins, but king h2 is a very simple solution i think and yeah the king is safe So ayun na nga, no? Ganun talaga ang reaction ng mga commentators about dito sa blunder ni Grandmaster Nepomniachi. Hindi sila makapaniwala. So F5, rook takes E6, and then after rook takes H5, huling gulo na lang ni Grandmaster Nepomniachi, pero kinain lang. Queen takes H5, at after D5, King G8, avoiding the check, and then D6. Dito na nag-resign si Grandmaster Nepomniachi. At kung makikita nyo yung reaction niya after niya mag-resign dito sa position na to, sobrang devastated talaga siya. At alam niya ang laki na napakawalan niya dahil kung naipanalo niya to, 2 points lead at sobrang wala ng pressure. Tabla-tabla na lang kailangan niya. Hindi na kailangan umabot pa ng rapid. At nangyari, umabot pa ng rapid at doon. Doon na siya natalo kay Grandmaster Ding Liren. At uh, Grandmaster Ding Liren is our new World Chess Champion. FIDE, World Chess Champion 2023. Congratulations sa iyo, Grandmaster Ding Liren. And hopefully sa mga viewers, marami kayong natutunan. Um, especially sa psychological aspect ng isang player. At also, paglamang na, ano ba dapat gawin. Okay? At sa mga naghahanap ng coach, message nyo lang ako. Hashtag Coach Elo Mariano. Um, if you need someone to help you achieve the best version of yourself as a chess player, just message me. Tutulungan kita.